Hello and welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna show you how I make my videos. So what I use for record, I use OBS Studio and XSplit Broadcaster. So I use OBS for normal recording and XSplit for gameplay with audio. And the thing I use to edit, I use Vegas Pro 12 and you can also use 13 and 14, it doesn't really matter. But if you're new in editing, you should probably start with something easy like Movie Maker or iMovie if you're using Mac. Because Sony Vegas will be very confusing in the start. So what I do, I open Sony Vegas. As you can see here, there's nothing here. So I right click and click insert video track. I also right click again and insert audio track. So now you have all you need to have to make a video. So now I will add the recording. I just left click on it and just drag it down here. So the first thing you do is you right click on the video and go to switches and then disable resample. And this is very important when you're editing in Sony Vegas because if you don't do it the video will not look good. So now you speed it up and you do that by control and then just drag it down. So now you just watch the entire thing and find the good clips. So once you found all the clips you can now begin to edit. So what I like to do, I like to add the best clip in the start of the video, like a little intro. So you just make this clip normal speed again by also control and drag it down. You can also go to properties and then playback rate and get it to 1. So now you have the clip, you need to add some music. So I advise that you use Goblin Mixes, Trap Nation, 3 songs to use and no copyright sounds. And they have really good songs, but some of the songs in Trap Nation have copyright. So you should be careful by using those songs. Once you found the song, you just add it to the file down here in audio track. Now you need to make it so the clip fits with the audio. So first I find the drop in the song. Yeah, and it doesn't fit at all right now. So how you can fix this is you can... Mm, th this thing needs to be shorter. So just... This... Now make a little fade in effect for both the audio and the song. So what you can also do, you can add a f keyframe, this is a keyframe, and you make him by pressing M. So now, my teammate actually eat the mess before the trap. So now I can add some slow motion, and the way you do it by is by going to the clip, and right clicking, then going to velocity, because this will determine how fast the clip are going. Just d double click, then make another frame right beside it, and go a little down, like... 72 and then right when the drop happens you can go to normal speed again so let's see it again so now it doesn't look that bad it actually looks pretty good there's still not that much editing so what you can do you can add a little zoom in effect so how you do it just go to the keyframe again and then go a little down like this maybe and now go one frame back and you do it by pressing this one over here and then click on the middle and click restore so now it will have this little effect but it looks better if you still go back out so you can just almost to the end of the clip click restore again because now it will look like this but it still doesn't look that good so what you can do now you can add an overlay and the way you do it you add another video track and now you just download find some overlays on youtube you like and then just add them to the clip i have some overlays on my computer so i will find them now so when you found the overlay you can just drag it down to the clip again but as you can see here there's a, still a little audio thing and you don't want this and the way you remove it is by pressing u so now you can delete it now you just get it up here as you can see now it will just look like this so you can't see the clip when you do this so just go to the green box over here and now just click add so now it will be added to the clip okay so now you can get it down here and maybe make it a little bigger like this maybe make a little fade in effect and that will look like this but I feel like the explosion is too fast so what you can do you can slow it down by also dragging it now it will look like this But there's a problem with this overlay because you can't see it now but if you render it right now it will have a little white box and you don't want this so the way you move it is you go to chroma key down in video effects then you will have to make a black screen so how you do this is you add this chroma key default to the clip and now it will make it look weird but 
go to here to the color and get this thing. Now you just press on the file here where it's black. So now it will look better and there will not be these bars. So what I like to do, I like to have a little title here after the first clip. So for example, best moments. You can also add a little outline, for example, just like this, and then add a color, like red, and maybe make a little animation like action flip. So now it will look like this. So now you actually have to start of your video and also make a fade out on the song. So that is basically it for this video. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to drop a like down below, subscribe if you're new, and tell me if I should do a part two. And of course, my name is Peter, and thanks for watching.